Welcome back, everybody, to another Funded Trader Profit Target video. I am joined today with Elvis, who has very recently hit his 10% profit target on the $15,000 account on the first stage. And he's here to tell us a little bit about his trading, a little bit about how he achieved his profit target. It's always good to have these kind of videos where we hear and we listen from profitable traders that are progressing up the account sizes with us. So Elvis, thank you very much for giving us your time today. We very much appreciate it. Why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Tell, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been trading for. A little bit of an introduction would be great. Okay. Uh, my name is Elvis. I come from Jakarta, Indonesia. Okay. Uh, my background mechanical engineering. I working as a design engineer for the full time, and I train as the part time. Uh, I start trading uh three three years ago. Okay. Time flies so fast. It feel just yesterday learning. Yeah. Become absolutely. Better, and now I'm here. Yeah. 100%. And and is this your first experience with a proprietary trading firm? Yes, of course. This is the first time for me. It is. Fantastic. So, you know, so you've been trading for three years now, Elvis. Uh, you know, how long do you think it took you before you were able to achieve consistent profitability? Obviously, now, you, you know, you're at the stage where you're working with a prop firm. You've hit your first target. But how long do you think it took you in that three year time span to start seeing and achieving some consistent results? Okay, uh, I'm still I'm st uh, I'm starting trading at the March twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I know forex trading from uh, YouTube at the moment, okay. uh, I found someone can make million from trading forex. So based on that, I interest to know about the forex trading, and mm -hmm. I make some uh, research what is the forex trading. I do some research what is the forest trading and how the forest trading uh, work like mm -hmm. that. And after that, uh, I try to uh, do some uh, forest trading at demo account. I register in the, the local uh, forest broker in my country. Mm -hmm. And uh, I trade for the one until two days at the demo account. And I directly to uh, go to the live account because uh, people say, uh, demo account is different with the uh, yeah. live account. Uh, uh, the first day when I try to uh, trading forex, it is like the the beginner luck. The beginner luck. Mm -hmm. The first day is uh, I can make uh, from uh, one hundred to one thousand in just some uh, hours in the gold. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is memory give me uh, something that. Uh, I will never forget about it, but I will never forget about it. And uh, okay. until now, until now, it's it's remained that uh, make me remain that uh, the forex trading is uh, have unlimited uh, uh, chains. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first year is uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the loss. The first years, uh, I do many research. I study from a lot of book. I study from the uh, uh, a lot of YouTube. I go. I join from some uh, community at the uh, forex factory. I try and error uh, a lot of strategy using uh, many indicators. And after one year, it's too very hard for me because uh, I suffer uh, a lot of loss. And coming into the second uh, years, I try to evaluate with my trading. What's the problem with my trading? And I, I find that uh, I need to make a, a simple strategy in my trading. So I start a new strategy. I, I, I delete all the indicators. So I basically do uh, the next chart, purely technical next chart. There is no indicators. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I use the strategy for the support and demand. Support okay. and resist. Yeah. Uh, supply and demand. And the second years, my trading uh, start to uh, profit, but sometimes uh, I got loss, sometimes profit. But at the second years, my trading already uh, profit. And the second years also, uh, but but my account still up and down, up and down. And sometimes I can make uh, some days uh, profit, but in some uh, days, the account uh, go to the margin call. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the second year is still is still hard for me, 
is still, still hard for me. And uh, coming into the, the third years, I tried to do evaluate again about my trading. So I see that uh, my strategy already working. I already uh, profit. But there is something very important that I forget. It's about the risk management. The risk management and money management. And the third years, I do for the risk management and money management. And from that, uh, I can still uh, consistent make profit. Okay. Uh, it's so... So it took you a couple of years out of the three to for you to be able to really kind of find some consistency. I, I want to pick up on something that you said kind of right at the start of that answer. You said that you kind of quickly, very quickly progressed onto trading a live account straight away. What do you, th you, you know, what were the benefits that you thought, you know, for you that that going, going straight to a, to a live account? What, how did that benefit your trading? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I don't get your point. Yeah. So you said that when you first started, you started trading with a live account straight away, not with a yeah. not with a demo account. Yeah. How do you think that benefited and and helped your trading journey and helped the growth of your trading? Okay, uh, because uh, I see uh, many YouTube that they told me that uh, the demo account is different with the uh, live account, like this. Uh, there are many people do in the demo account, they can make profit in the demo account, but when they move to the live account, it's a different, it's about the psychology. Yeah. So I think uh, what's for, I just waste my time on the demo account. So I, I try to uh, do some deposit for the small money and I try to the, the live account because uh, I agree for some of, someone people say that yeah. uh, you need to start from the live account. Even it might just a small, but it's uh it's deeper yeah. with uh the demo account like this. Yeah, this is this, this is, is this yeah. is something that we definitely agree with. We really really believe in trading with live live funds with live accounts. That's something that can be really really beneficial for a trader. So I you know it was interesting to see when you when you when you started kind of answering that question that you started your trading journey straight away kind of with a live account i think you you know like you said instead of kind of wasting your time demo accounts can be great for kind of getting to getting used to understanding what trading is you know getting used to learning how to use an mt4 trading platform but you know once you actually are serious about learning how to trade it's absolutely critical that you do, do start trading with with a live account so you know i think you know you're it, relatively speaking your trading journey has been has been relatively you know short up until now you know been trading for three years it took you two years to to become consistently profitable i think you know it was a very good step that you took early on to start trading with with real money straight away so tell me a little bit about your trading now then and how it's developed you know what what are you know how are you looking at the markets at the moment you've obviously hit your 10 percent profit target and had your account scaled and doubled to the next stage so tell us a little bit about how kind of the things and the steps that you go through before you end up placing a trade Okay, uh, basically, uh, my property strategy, my property strategy is about the scalping, and I combine with the swing trade. Mm -hmm. uh, I do uh, scalping for the uh, uh, gold and uh, Nasdaq, and and I use uh, swing uh, strategy for the forex. So uh, in the Audacity account, because uh, we trade uh, forex, I do swing trade. And in another account, my personal account, I, I do some uh, scalping for the gold and okay. indeed. Uh, why I, I, I like the uh, uh, why I like uh, scalping than uh, swing trade because in the scalping, we will know the result every day. We will know today is we are getting some loss or are we getting profit in the next year. But if we talk about the swing trade, we need wait the moment. We cannot uh, get profit uh, daily, maybe uh, once a week or two two times in the one month. We cannot predict because it's uh, about the market. But in the uh, scalping, we can take some some uh, profit in the small movement like this. So that's why uh, in the over city capital, because there is not uh, time, there is not deadline. So I use like this wing. And 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 another account I use like uh, uh, scalping for my account and my risk management is is based on the uh, on the uh, my strategy. If I use like the swing trade, I will use a uh, risk to reward 
but when I trade with a uh, uh, scalping strategy, I will use uh, there is per trade like this. And now, uh, uh, in this years, I try to make uh, how I can uh, develop my winning ratio by analyst to market. So it's mean that uh, I will see if the market uh, already trading, I will be uh, do a lot of trading, but in the market in the ranging, I will uh, use uh, another strategy. So and the, uh, coming into the fourth uh, years, uh, my strategy is I try to um, increase my winning uh, winning ratio. And okay. yeah, like this. I see. Okay, fantastic. And is there a particular market that you're, you know, that is your favorite pair? Do you trade, you know, all 28 currency pairs or, you know, what, what markets are you looking at? Yeah, uh, basically uh, for the scalping I use for the, uh, I analyze the gold and uh, Nasdaq, but but the forex I like to uh, pounds uh, yen, and or USD uh, pounds. Uh, the first, and I, I like to see and analyze in the monthly chart, the monthly chart, and also uh, the weekly charts. So uh, I can I can hold the position in one weeks two weeks, and uh, you can maybe see in the, my account that. I can hold the profit in the one weeks or two weeks, and it is another stake because uh, the new trader cannot uh, hold the profit yeah. running, uh, and maybe sometimes if they already profit at the uh, the candle will go down and the profit uh, will decrease. Sometimes they they go to the panic, but uh, for me, I will see the market structure if the right. uh, some pullback until. Uh, if the pullback is not uh, towards my uh, uh, resistance or support, so I will still keep uh, this uh, trading like this. I see. Okay, fantastic. And you know, like we said, you you know, you've you know, you've achieved some success with uh, your prop firm account already. You know, this is the first time that you've been trading with a proprietary trading firm. So, uh, why don't you tell us about how you found your experience so far with the funded trader program? Okay. Uh, uh, pass on the we can, we can pass the stake on the uh, funding program. It's it can give a uh, different feeling. Yes, if you it mean that if you can uh, make a profit on the funding, uh, there is this different feeling, different things that with uh, you make profit in the, your uh, personal account. Because why? Yeah. Because in the funding, because in the funding talent, you need to follow some rule. So when you can make profit with follow some rule, it's more great than you do some trading without rule and you can profit. So the first time when I can uh when I, I reach the ten percent in the audacity capital, it give me some some new uh pride or happiness that oh I can make profit with follow yeah. the some rule because sometimes I don't I don't make a specific rule. I mean that my 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 trading rule is not really strict as the Audacity uh, Capital rule. I see. Is. Yeah. So so Audacity Capital uh give me uh, many many lesson about how to manage your trading and how to manage the law and how to the to manage the risk and management like this. Fantastic. Brilliant. That's great to hear. Now. You know, one thing that I always like to ask traders, you know, before we do finish is, you know, if you had one piece of advice that you could give to, you know, a trader that maybe is struggling or someone who's, you know, going through some consecutive losses, what would that one piece of advice be? Mm, don't give up easily. Don't uh, give up easily. Yeah, don't give up easily. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you need give some time. Sometimes, for your uh, what you thinking is uh, uh really important. Just yeah. don't give up. You still stick with stick with it, uh, not forever, but uh, really give a chance to get where are you going. Uh, be sure. persistent, persistent, have a lot of value. Uh, sometimes the big thing need time to see uh the result. Uh, maybe in the first year you just focus how you can stay. Keep staying on the trading because the first year so many uh, traders fall and go away from the trading. 
So you need still in the the game. You need still in the trading. Whether you lose or win, just just stay on the trading of first year, and you continue for the for the uh, second years, the third years, and on the your journey, we will you you will find your strategy. You will find how to manage the risk management, and until that, uh, you will become the profitable trader. For sure, I I definitely agree with you there. I think you know if we all know as traders, the resilience is you know a really really key characteristic that you'll need that you'll need if you are going to be able to succeed within this industry. So very very valuable advice. So Elvis, thank you very much for your time today. We very appreciate very much appreciate you giving up your time to share your story in regards to reaching your your first ten percent profit target with us. I'm sure it won't be that won't be the last. I'm sure in you know not too distant future we'll be sitting here again speaking about progressing your account up to the next stage up to that sixty thousand dollar account account size so elvis thank you very much for your time today we're wishing you all of the best yeah, uh, in, in the coming weeks for for your trading and um yeah can't wait to see how you progress yeah thank you